How to Take Pictures of Baseball and Softball, Part 2. What we will cover in Part 2. Tips, Problems, and Sample Pictures. Tips. Introduce yourself to the coach. Find out where you can and cannot shoot from. The umpires. Find out where you can and cannot shoot from. Find out any rules that you may have to follow. And the scorekeeper, if you want to shoot from the scorekeeper's hut. Warm up. Shoot as many of the team as you can. Some players may not play the game, so that is your only opportunity to shoot pictures of them. You may not get action shots of some of the players during the game. Again, you can do it during warm-up. You can get closer shots of the players. For example, the catcher. You can go down into the bullpen, and you can get a closer shot than trying to shoot down right field, the right field foul line or shooting from outside center field. That's a long shot in. And during warm-up, you are not shooting through a chain-link fence, so you don't have the problem of the fence getting in your way. Attention, safety. During warm-up, there are a lot of balls flying around. You do not want to get hit by one of those balls. So pay attention to the balls. Take a picture of the roster, such as on the picture on the right. The roster tells you who are the players, the batting order, their jersey numbers, so you can identify them in the pictures, and their names, and the editors are going to appreciate that, and the positions that they are playing. The positions are difficult because if you look on the roster, it doesn't say pitcher, center field, catcher, first base. It's numbers from 1 through 9. So you're going to have to find out what those position numbers mean in terms of their actual positions that make sense to all of us. Get the final score. Invariably, somebody's going to say, what was the score? Get the picture and you got it. In the case of the picture left, that was a championship game. So... That score has more meaning than a regular game. It, they won the championship, and it was 1-0. Problems. Problem. You can't watch a player for four innings waiting for action. You have the rest of the team to shoot. So if you can't get your action shot, you just have to shoot the static pictures, as in the picture left, or warm-up pictures, as in picture right. Problem, shooting through the chain-link fence. Chain-link fence is all around the baseball and softball fields. So you're going to have to shoot through a chain-link fence to get many of your shots. See the Common Problems video on how to shoot through a chain-link fence, linked with the card above and also in the description below. Problem. Solid backstop behind home. So picture left is what we're trying to duplicate. But let's look at the picture on the right. We have a problem. The camera that shot picture left was about the shoulder, shoulder height of the batter. If we look at picture right, you can't do that. Shoulder height of the batter is a solid backstop. So what we have to do is shoot from just above the, the backstop and be satisfied with what we can get from there. And remember what I said about the height of the backstop? The backstop in this case is above 5 feet 6 inches tall. If you're 6 feet or high 5 feet, you can shoot over that backstop without any problem. If you're lower than 5 6, let's say, you're going to need a stool to climb up and shoot to get yourself high enough so you can shoot over that backstop. So that's why knowing how high the backstop is is a consideration. Samples. 
Infield shots. One picture to take notice of. Top right. Swing and a miss. That was shot from the outfield fence down the right foul line. Picture bottom left. That was a stage shot. Outfield. Outfield shots can be tricky and difficult. One, you often don't get many shots going to outfield. And two, you've got a lot of ground to cover. By ground to cover, what I mean, center picture, ball's coming down, sw I swing the camera. Camera is focused on the fence behind the player. So I actually missed focus on this particular outfield player. And that is one of the problems when you're trying to figure out where the ball's going and you've got to move that camera quickly. Picture bottom right. As I'm making the circuit around the, around the field, right field gets a ball hit towards him. But I'm by the right outfield fence. So I got a great picture of his back, not his, not his face. That is one of the issues when you're going doing a circuit around the field. You're not going to be in position for all the players. And sometimes you're going to get their backs. Batter, runner, home. Shots of the batters. Runner getting to second and crossing home. Pictures of baseball. Pictures of softball. And stage shots. Stage shots are shots which are too dangerous or difficult to shoot during a game. So these are staged. See the stage shots video lesson for how to shoot these shots. Related videos in the channel. Afternoon games, bursts and continuous shooting, common shooting problems. This is for how to shoot through a chain link fence. Stage shots, tracking a moving subject. Baseball, where to shoot from by positions. Softball, where to shoot from by positions, and senior presentations. The end. Please see the where to shoot from videos for baseball and softball next.